Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on Synth Scaper from Igor Vasiliev. This is a fantastic synth. It's uh, an amazing uh, um, app with a lot of capabilities. At first, when you run it, it might seem overwhelming with the number of controls and busy interface, but I have to say, when you get to learn how it works is really fantastic. So to start uh, uh, the new series of tutorial, Igor has uh, uh, provided a number of codes, five codes to give away. So if you uh, would like to participate to the giveaway, please follow the instructions in the video description. And also check the first comment in the comments section so that you know uh, who are the winners and um, if not, if um, the winners are not disclosed, that means the competition is still running. In this first video, I'm going to give you a little bit of an introduction, really a guided through what a um, Synthscaper looks like so that you get an idea at getting started, really. So I just loaded it. It is a standalone application at the moment. Hopefully in the future, it will become also an AUV free. But I have to say, even without being in a UV3 um, app, it is really great because you, you can record some fantastic, uh, some scapes, uh, ambient type of uh, uh, music or, or samples, which then you can use in your composition. So as it says, it's, um, it's a synth, it's an app which is used to experiment or to create ambient uh, soundscapes. And whether those are noise or melodic instrument or something in between. So as you can see, we have a keyboard on the bottom here. At the moment, I have loaded an empty scene, which um, contains all different settings uh, for the different parameters. The level is 100, so let me lower that down to around 60%. Okay. So in the middle, you see uh, a space mixer. Okay, what you see here are uh, the oscillator. So oscillator number one, two, and three. You can mute each one of them. You can set the amplitude like so, and also change effect one and two with these different dials. So a lot of possibilities. But <clears throat> let me guide you through some uh, uh, scene. Let's start with a window at nebula scene. And let's again set it to around uh, uh, 60% as uh, overall volume. And not only um, clicking uh, uh, on the screen, not touching on the screen, you can produce a note, but you can also slide up. And as you slide up and down, you can see these green arrows moving. And that really depends on the settings that you have programmed for the particular scene. Uh, let's choose another one. So let's choose, for example, uh, the second one. As you can see, clicking on uh, these scenes on the left hand side, load them immediately. But you have a lot of others here. And they're grouped at the moment by soundscape, but if you click on group, then you can choose different type of groups. And for example, if you want to load something regarding drones, you click on one and then you click on set. I always recommend to check the level uh, to avoid clipping as well. And you can change the position of uh, the oscillator spacely. You can hold notes like so, you can, which is similar to a latch. But you can also have a normal hold clicking on the add button. You can mute, set the overall level. So it's really, really quite good. Um, the other thing as well is you can click on random here and it will generate a scene for you, which is really, really cool. <laughs> If you 
want to gradually change? If you want to change the size of your keys? Or going up and down the register? Lots and lots of different options here. You can set, for example, scale. Okay. Here you can set the different height of the keyboard, like so. And you can also have it double if you click up here. And you can click on single again to go back to single and then height to go back like here. And the original screen, you can split as well. Or merge it back. So lots and lots of different options. As I mentioned, it has um, three um, oscillators, each which you can see here, one here, the second one, and the third one. And to give you a, just an introduction, if I go back up and I choose an empty scene, like so, and then if I mute um, uh, number two and number three, and I have only number one active I can load the preset here like for example basis like so and you can see which is really nice let's um, bring that to 60% so I have loaded effectively a preset for the first oscillator but I can do the same on the second and the third as well and if you click on oscillator here, here's where you have all the oscillator parameters. And look here, each oscillator has three different layers. And for each layers, you can have up to six voices. So make uh, the muff. And I'll go through these uh, in more details, of course. The other thing I wanted to show you has a stage where you can go through filters. And this is again for each oscillators. You can see the f uh, you can go through one filter, which you can select here, what type of filter. And then you can go through a second filter and a third filter as well. You can also set envelope and low free um, uh, low frequency oscillator, and you have six envelopes. It's <laughs> really fantastic. As well, you have six LFOs as well, which is uh, absolutely great. But that's not all. And if you click here or under here or there for the other two oscillators, you have also sequencer. An arpeggiator, and yes, you can also stop record, which is really, really a lot of different possibility. Here is where, for example, you can set um, voices in range. You can check on octave shift and how the MIDI keyboard behave, but also the modulation, for example, associated to the keyboard. Other things as an introduction. Here you have your bits per minute settings, as you can see. You have file management here as well. And you can import also packs of presets. Here you have your setting for the application as well. You have a comprehensive menu um, help, which um, is really nice. It's more of a reference over the side than a help. Um, then here is where you can record. So for example, click on that. Click on that again to stop, go on the file management. Here you have the, your last recording, which you can play. Really, really nice. And let's delete it as well. So you can do a lot of your file management. Here, for example, you can set out spaces you want. You can set reflections. You can set it narrow or wide, verb, active or no. So really lots and lots of possibility. This is just the first video and getting started. So I'm going to play a couple of more uh, uh, presets from the scene uh, just to give you a bit of, uh, of a taste.
also, I can't forget that you can design the different parameters for the scene. You click on design. Here it is. And uh, we have a nice option here called generate, which effectively tweak a little bit the parameters of the scene which you have uh, selected or just generated. So let's try. Oops, it moved the level up to 100%. So I'm really going to enjoy going through these uh, series of tutorials. I hope you will do as well. See you at the next one. Bye.